Order! 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 You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! It's run like a Victorian workhouse where staff are treated like commodities, not human beings. The boss of Sports Direct has been accused of appalling work practices in a scathing report by MPs. The committee said Mike Ashley had built his success by treating workers without dignity or respect, as unions called for legislation to protect people from being exploited. Mr Ashley has promised to raise staff pay and improve conditions, but will he make good on that pledge? Simeon Brown reports. He's the pint-guzzling billionaire who owns one of England's biggest football clubs and founded one of the country's biggest retailers. Today, MPs from the Business, Innovation and Skills Committee said the boss of Sports Direct must be held accountable for failing to treat its workers like humans. These pictures are from an investigation by The Guardian newspaper that uncovered some workers in the company's Shirebrook warehouse were effectively earning beneath the minimum wage. Today's report said Sports Direct exploited workers to maximise profits. We found those working conditions to be absolutely deplorable, something akin to a Victorian workhouse rather than High Street in Britain in 2016. You know, there were cases of women giving birth in toilets, um, the idea that you weren't allowed to have a break to have a glass of water, um, the spurious things in respect of um, six strikes and you're out, you're sacked. Jordan says he worked at Sports Direct on a zero-hours contract. He told us to struggle to get shifts meant he only made £800 in a year. The way it was pitched and the way it, it sounded at first, I thought it would be great because it allows me then to pick what I want to work around my studies and around sort of my personal life and, and let me do things I want to do. However, what it actually turned out to mean was you get sort of the bare minimum. For me, I only worked four hours each week and I think that was because I then didn't need to have a break. Now we've spoken to many people who claim they've had the same experience working at Sports Direct. They alleged first-hand experience of many of the issues the business committee found in their report. They spoke about the low pay and the inconsistent shift patterns. They spoke about feeling coerced by this company. A statement from Sports Direct said, We will study the contents of the committee's report very carefully. It is our policy to treat all our people with dignity and respect. We are pleased to see that the committee has recognised Mike Ashley's commitment to engage in addressing any shortcomings in the working practices at Sports Direct. But despite all of the complaints about this one company, is Sports Direct and its boss, Mike Ashley, a convenient scapegoat for wider problems in the retail industry that are growing in the British labour market? More and more companies in the UK uh, employing zero hours contracts, uh, paying the very, very minimum uh, wage that they are allowed. Um, and this is creating a new band of workers who don't have the security that we all thought we would get from work. Sports Direct are now being investigated by HMRC, but the prospect of a fair day's pay for a fair day's work has become the challenge for our economy, not just one company. Simeon Brown there.